May is National Preeclampsia Awareness Month, so it's a good time to consider the serious complication of pregnancy and the treatments being developed to address it. Preeclampsia is one of the leading killers of pregnant women in the U.S. and one of the leading known causes of premature births. It is estimated that preeclampsia costs the global healthcare system $3 billion annually. This February, the American Heart Association and American Stroke Association announced that women who had a history of preeclampsia had twice the risk of stroke and four times the risk of developing high blood pressure even decades after their pregnancies. There are currently no cures for preeclampsia and treatment would have a significant impact on the long-term health of women and their children worldwide. Scientists are working on a treatment, and one company is studying whether the cure to preeclampsia can be developed from the cells of a healthy placenta. We recently sat down with Dr. Corinne Kleinhaus, the Divisional Vice President in North America at Pluristem Therapeutics, to shed some more light on the topic. Uh, preeclampsia is one of the leading killers of pregnant women in the U.S. and around the world. Um, it occurs in about 3 to 5 percent of uh, pregnant women in the U.S. and it has no cure. Uh, the, the disease can come on even in the end of the fifth month of pregnancy and since the only way to prevent the disease uh, from getting more and more serious in the mother is to take out the baby, you may wind up having to deliver a baby um, very, very early, uh, which is uh, very serious. It can have very bad outcomes for the baby if it survives. And uh, obviously, it, it takes an enormous toll on the mother and her family. And it's also extremely expensive to keep very little babies like that alive. The cost for intensive care for these kind of babies is about $50,000 a week. Um, so with no cure and very uh, significant risks to the mom, such as stroke and seizures and significant risk to the baby, it's the time really that we find something to address this disease. The American Heart Association came out with a separate list of risk factors for stroke in women. And they recognized preeclampsia as an independent risk factor for stroke and for high blood pressure. Um, even decades after the pregnancy, and even decades after you had your preeclampsia, you can be at twice the risk of stroke and four times the risk of developing high blood pressure, which has you know, very serious implications for women long after they've finished having their babies. Uh, my company, Pluristim, takes specific kinds of cells from the placenta and we expand them and train them in a way in these three-dimensional bioreactors to secrete specific kinds of proteins uh, in the body in response to damage in tissue. And this, these proteins that our cells secrete stimulate the body to use its own mechanisms, its own ways of healing itself. Now, um, in preeclampsia, there's a lot of inflammation and problems with uh, development of the blood vessels of the mother in the uterus to uh, make it possible to feed the fetus, the baby, as well as it can. So our cells actually secrete specific proteins that are anti-inflammatory and that help uh, blood vessels so uh, function properly or help the body to um, carry out these things. So we are uh, hopeful and we think that our cells will work um, particularly well to treat preeclampsia. It's hard to predict uh, when we would see our cells uh, out in the community. Uh, we have trials to run, first of all. We're starting our clinical trials. We expect to start them this year. Um, and of course, we'd need to run uh, the phase one trials, phase two trials, and phase three trials, and then get approval from the governments in the US or in Europe uh, to sell the product. Uh, if we've applied for uh, FDA's recognition of severe preeclampsia as something called an orphan indication, meaning that uh, it's, a, doesn't, uh, it's something that would need special attention and perhaps have a smoother uh, pathway to regulatory approval. But uh, even in the best case scenario, if we complete our trials in 2015, we may have uh, the opportunity to sell our cells 
uh, some point uh, in 2016. But that would be the best case scenario. If you want to learn more about Pluristem, you can visit the company's website at pluristem.com. Their ticker is PSTI and they are listed on the NASDAQ. I'm Anna Maria Chen and you're watching Corporate Profile.